So, discussing light. Do you know that 100% of uh, the early idea of the basis of the creation of quantum physics is based upon the supposed <laughs> comprehension of the nature of light? D did you know that? Uh, if you actually dig deep into quantum physics, by the way, of course, fields are not physical. It shouldn't be the realm of physics, nor does light, nor any field perturbation have a quantity, which is the basis of the term for quantum. So it's not physical and it has no quantity. But of course that can't exist from the premise of atomism and uh, physicists. And physicists are not scientists or truth seekers in the true platonic sense because they are actually mathematicians. And mathematicians only believe in stuff that they can quantify and count. Isn't it interesting that math is only interested in stuff it can count? That kind of is the denotation and connotation of math. And this, of course, is why the Greeks differentiated out math from arithmos. Um, learn the distinction, the nuance, the denotation is quite different. Um, specifically about glass, it's easy to uh, destroy modern science when you actually uh, debate light with them. They've always uh, got insane notions about uh, the nature of light and uh, the speed of light, or C. Light doesn't have a uh, speed, nor does light travel. Nothing emits light. To think that uh, like a light bulb emits lights, or these these halogens are actually illuminating my face and emitting something is uh, an absurdity. Nikola Tesla, nor did Far Faraday, Steinmetz, or Oliver Heaviside, or James Clerk Maxwell entertain such uh, insane ideations. Light does not slow down uh, when it uh, enters glass and quote-unquote speed back up as uh, scientists and physicists would uh, have you maintain. Light supposedly slows down, but it doesn't slow down, but, but the rate of that uh, retardation, which is an accurate word, or the impedance thereof in the glass, depending on the nature of the glass, is 34%, uh, it's 25% uh, in water. Everything is capacitance, resistance, permeability, and permittivity. The nature of light slowing down is nothing to do with uh, its travel since nothing emits light. It's a field perturbation. To think that a person in the middle of a pond flapping their arms and creating waves is emitting something is equally stupid. The person in the middle of the pond flapping their arms is creating a perturbation in the medium in which they are in. In this case, analogously, of course, the damn water. Further still, waves are not things. Nothing is waves. People talk about waves of this and waves of that. Waves of what? Well, we've got waves, electromagnetic waves. I mean, waves. Something is waving. A wave is not something. A wave is what something does. There's no such thing as a wave. There's the waves out on the ocean. It's like, no, that's water under perturbation. Yeah, waves. No, it's water. No, waves. No, waves not a thing. A wave is something doing something specifically, waving. The devil's in the details. All the nuances of understanding a field theory is uh, lost on. Uh, the infantile mind of the modern scientist who is, by definition, a mathematician. And once again, they only believe in things you can quantify. Um, light is not a speed, it's a rate of induction governed by the medium of its propagation, be it glass or water or air or vacuum. Energy equals nu or Planck's constant times the frequency. E equals nu F. Like uh, 2.25 eV volts towards the uh, ultraviolet spectrum and like 1.25 eV volts towards the red end of the spectrum. Obviously, the amount of, uh, of, uh, of power increases as the frequency increases. However, the actual size is reduced. And, of course, this is then fully aligned with the Faraday and Tesla ideation. In fact, that the smaller the space, the higher the capacitance. Light is a coaxial circuit of transverse electrical, magnetic, and longitudinal pulse perturbations of dielectric. This is what modern science and their stupidity of atomism has confounded and conflated as the quote-unquote photon. Of course, there's no such thing as a goddamn photon. Light is an electrical circuit. It is a transverse field perturbation to the longitudinal dielectric, or literally the plane of iner inertia pulse perturbation, which rebounds uh, transverse, either uh, linear or circular polarization that makes up the coaxial circuit that we call light. 
But light is never known. Light is only known by uh, manifestation. That manifestation is only by means of and due to impedance based upon the property of the propagation and its nature of capacitance, resistance, permeability, and permittivity thereof. Dielectric uh, permittivity, magnetic permeability. Destroying all modern scientists and their pathetic stupidity to have them explain breaking the law of conservation of energy upon light, presuming to speed back up after it leaves glass, is like, excuse me, Mr. Scientist, <coughs> dumbass. Uh, how is light, without breaking the law of conservation of energy, <coughs> dumbass, able to speed back up after leaving glass? Well, it just does. It rebounds off the... Oh, really? So... <laughs> See, when you think that light is something that is traveling through space and it enters glass and it leaves glass, and what you end up with is these logical fallacies that uh, cannot be enjoined where you bra therefore break the law of conservation of energy where light slows down by 34% as it enters glass and then it speeds back up again. You know, Mr. Scientist has never been able to explain that because Mr. Scientist is an idiot that thinks that light is photons and it's something that's moving and going through something. No, that's not what happens. But when you explain it very, very simply because Mother Nature is simple, she's like a hairy armpit chick wearing like Birkenstock sandals, is that light is a field perturbation. There's nothing moving through the glass. The rate of induction due to the capacitance and uh, permeability and permittivity of that glass, depending on what type of glass it is, of which there are like a billion different varieties, governs the nature of how that field perturbation slows. Because everything is freaking electrical. Mother Nature has nothing to do with bumping particles. This is why quantum physics should be called accurately the cult of quantum or the cult of bumping particles. Light is literally a mass of wrinkles in counter space of the ether, which self-replicate longitudinally so. The manifestation of transverse electrical and magnetic is due to the rebounding of that plane of inertia, or the wrinkled pulse perturbation longitudinal uh, perturbation, which has a point source. Um, light loses energy in going through a glass slab, someone said. Well, velocity is not an energy. Light loses energy. Propagation speed of light in glass gets slowed down. Propagation of what? This is what some of these uh, idiots, uh, scientists, have said when answering questions about uh, light speeding back up after it uh, leaves glass. Propagation of what? Waves don't exist. Wave is not a thing. Wave is what something does. They reify these things. There's no difference between like a wave and a shadow, or a. Um, uh, I was about to say, I was about to use an uh, ancient Greek term, or ancient Prakrit term, but I don't want to do that, I don't want to confuse people, but, you know, th these are privations, they're not principles. You know, there's no such thing as a shadow, a shadow is the absence of light. Space is not a thing, as Nikola Tesla famously said, space has no properties. It's the speed of what? Waves don't have a speed. A wave is what something does. The wrinkles in the counter spaces manifest as transverse phenomena, in Cartesian space and time, all fields are counterspatial pulse perturbations. There is nothing to move, only the propagation of the perturbation, like a piston. A piston doesn't move longitudinally. One causes an upset of the other. If you actually were to accurately look at waves in the ocean, out on the ocean, not on the seashore, where they actually impede against the base of the shoreline and they actually do crest, but the waves don't actually move. They cause one another to arise. This is a replication along the plane of inertia or rest. This is actually something Walter Russell specifically accurately defined. Walter Russell, of course, was he said a lot of brilliant stuff, but uh, he's partially an idiot because he actually never defined a, what a what the hell a field was. Um, all transverse uh, field phenomena have a max rate of propagation that the idiot human calls c, or quote unquote light speed. It's the actual max rate of the propagation of the substantial transverse field phenomena. Um, light is not waves. Waves are not things, but what things do, as I've already said several times, to speak of light is actually meant the medium of the perturbation and the frequency thereof. I said E equals nu F. Energy equals uh, the constant times the frequency of the light or the electromagnetic pulse perturbation which is a coaxial circuit. It's uh, really simple. People don't know what a coax cable looks like. You should look it up. Um, same thing's running in your house. 
Um, capacitance, resistance, magnetic permeability, and dielectric permittivity govern what the common idiot calls the speed of light. Um, light has no speed, nor does it move. What is occurring is the rate of longitudinal propagation measured in time, which is a measure relative to space and the measurement of different distances and the traveling thereof. Measure in time for the transverse phenomena to propagate through whatever given medium they propagate through. Nobody anywhere has seen light. Nobody has ever seen light. Your eyeballs don't see light. They actually see illumination. They see the impedance of the perturbation. All manifestation of light, which is technically denotatively illumination, the devil's in the details once again, is only due to the medium's electrical properties in response to the field perturbation, be it glass or black or white object or X reflectivity, and, and creating a, uh, a thought analogy. For example, if you had a totally invisible person, okay, they are transparent. They have basically no magnetic permeability or dielectric permittivity. If so, a totally invisible person, and this is just a, a, a thought problem, which isn't a problem. We're to stand out in a really bright, bright sunny day. I mean, really bright. Southern Florida. Everything would be completely black when they opened their eyes up. Of course, you wouldn't be able to see them. If they open your eyes up, Bob, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Everybody would be, everything would be black. This is the point. It's like, well, you sure you could see light? No. If, for example, you had someone with no magnetic permeability, resistance, and dielectric permittivity, was it zero null for both? that invisible person would never see light. We never ever see light. We only see manifestation due to impedance based upon whatever the governing mediums, either the receptors in the back of your eye or the reflection off our X or Y object reflects X frequency of light. This manifestation, illumination, light itself is only conceptual. There is, and this requires several videos, of which I've already made, actually, and this is part that will make you the most incredulous, is that, listen closely, there is no such thing as light. Everything that human beings understand as light is only manifestation, a mirage, a facsimile of light. It's the manifestation of the field or inertia perturbation, that wrinkle in counter space, which is manifest due to a given impedance, permeability, permittivity, capacitance or resistance nobody ever sees light light is purely conceptual um, discussing that takes several videos like I said and I've already made those videos but they confound people they don't know what I'm saying sure light exists everybody knows that light exists of course it does light is conceptual if we only can define something by what it does and if it stops doing what it does, light and illumination, right? Right? If it stops doing what it does, and then the principle vanishes, then the principle was purely conceptual. Like we only know Bob by what Bob does. If like Bob were to stop walking, like Bob is light, right? We only know Bob by what he does. He pushed over a truck, he kicked a little, he kicked a dog going down the street. <laughs> he, uh... Bob cut a fart. <laughs> Bob did something. We only know Bob by what he does, i.e. illumination, manifestation. But if we're Bob were to stop and not do anything and instantly vanish, you know, add Bob, Bob, of course, would be the analogy of the, uh, the analogy for light. Uh, light does not exist. It is purely conceptual. If you actually apply hardcore platonic retroduction and logic to the concept that we denote as light, then light does not exist from a platonic perspective. And of course this explains a lot of the understanding of things that philosophers, uh, Pl platonic philosophers do not understand in the writings of the Platonists because the ancient Pythagoreans and Neoplatonists understood this as well, which is where the confusion arose and still arises from platonic philosophers and why uh, some of the Platonists were so cryptic and saying confusing things and it's only confusing to them because they're stupid why the uh, Platonists and the Pythagoreans uh, denied uh, light any exists because light does not exist. It is a concept only. We only know light by uh, manifestation, but that is illumination. That's the attribute. In other words, we only know the principle by the attribute, but no one has ever been witness to the principle. P 
Pure unmanifest energy is not light. We say light is light once it manifests as EM, electromagnetic radiation, or EMR. But that's attribute. There we have illumination, electromagnetic radiation. But light itself is a concept which absolutely does not exist by any logical analysis. That will surely warp your brain. Either that or you tell me to go go bleep myself because I don't know what, you know. But no, I am accurate on that. You want to have a debate on that one, you'll certainly lose. Anyway, thanks for watching. This was a primer into light. Light does not move. Nothing emits light, nor does light have a speed. It does not. It cannot, by definition, nor would such absurdities invented by idiot uh, humans uh, allow for what we observe of illumination and uh, the concept of light, which, of course, does not exist. None of the observed phenomena of light phenomena, or EMR, can be explained by thinking that light is photons, or light moves, or light has a speed. All of those things are bullshit. Not only that, they're actually absolute bullshit. It's impossible for observed phenomena to be explained by thinking of light as photons, or something moving, or speed, or... And even more insanely, to think that something slows down and speeds back up again without breaking the law of conservation of energy. No, 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 no. This is the realm of the idiot uh, religion of uh, quantum, the cult of bumping particles. This is why uh, Nikola Tesla called it a mass of confusion. Even Walter Russell called quantum physics a, a pile of nonsense or something like that. I forget his exact quote. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you always uh, click the link below. Make a small donation. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy. Goodbye.